Hi everyone and welcome to another quick tutorial with me, Michael Turney. Today I'm going to show you the quickest and easiest way how to get this liquid movement effect in Adobe After Effects. So let's get started. First, go to New Composition, 1920 by 1080, 25 frames a second for 5 seconds. Click OK. We'll then come up here to our Ellipse tool. Click and drag this and then hold Shift so it becomes a perfect circle. And then we want the anchor point to be in the center. So if we hold control and then double click here, we'll then hit P on the keyboard. So it shows a position and then hold alt and click on the stopwatch and type wiggle. And then in brackets, we'll have one, which is the frequency, the amount that it's going to move. And then 150, which is the pixels that it'll move. So 150 pixels around it will move. So if we hit play on that, we'll get something that looks like this. So if we select our shape and hit Control and D or Command and D a few times on here, so we get something like five shapes. We'll just move them all out. And then if we go to the edge of the corner there and pull it in and hold Shift so we can scale some of them down. So all these should be moving in different directions now. And we'll keyframe all of the positions. So hit P on the keyboard and keyframe them all there. And then at three seconds, we'll move them all really close to the center. They don't have to be exactly on top of each other, just something like this. So they start off far apart and then come together. We'll then create a new adjustment layer and then go to our effects and presets panel and type in blur and then we'll put the Gaussian blur on it and then turn this up maybe something like 60 and then we'll type in our effects and presets panel again the matte choker so we'll put that underneath the Gaussian blur layer and already you can see it's getting that effect If you want to make it clearer, we'll just bring the softness down to five, about 5% to get that kind of crisp edge look there. And then we can just smooth the position out by right click, keyframe assistant, easy ease, and we can jump into our graph editor and bring them all this way. And there we are, the quickest and easiest way how to get this liquid effect in Adobe After Effects. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe, and feel free to follow me on Instagram at tinny.tv. Thanks for watching.